in this new case the data is for number of units demanded say any product you can assume any product number of units demanded range is from 1 to 6 and the respective probabilities now first of all we are going to calculate expected value or mathematical expectation or the mean for that purpose we need a new column x into p of x 1 into 0 0.1 remains 0 0.1 2 into 0 0.15 0 0.3 3 into 0 0.2 0 0.6 4 into 0.25 that is 1 5 into 0.18 that is 0.9 and 6 into 0.12 is 0.72 it's now summation it comes to 3.62 so first of all the mean or expected value that is e of x and e of x is sigma x into p of x so it is 3.62 now if we consider the reality that this is the data regarding any product so we know that we cannot deliver any product which is incomplete so considering that reality we can round off the mean to 4 it is not compulsory but you can do it now in this case we are going to calculate variance as well as standard deviation and cv2 and for that purpose we need one more column that is x square into p of x that means squared value of x into p of x or x into x into p of x 1 into 0 0.1 again 0 0.1 2 into 0 0.3 is 0 0.6 3 into 0 0.6 is 1.8 4 into 1 is 4, 5 into 0.9 is 4.5 and 6 into 0.72 is 4.32 is it <coughs> and now summation is it 14 or 15.42 Now we can calculate variance. Say it is number two if mean is number one. Variance v of x or any sign v r or anything is e of x square minus e of x whole square. Fifteen point three two. Minus 3.62 all square. So it is 15.32 minus. Now what is 3.62 square? Yes, 
standard deviation comes to 1.449 or we can say it is 1.45 approximately. Is it? Or 1.49. We can also calculate C. So, C V comes to forty one point six eight. Forty one point six eight. Sixteen. One six. One six percent approximately. 